Hey everybody, it's me, Deidre. Excuse me. I'm out here at Ross, my area. Um, I had a nice little awakening a few minutes ago. Um, I bought something I always wanted but never bought because, like, I just never gave in to the craving. Like, I will, every time I see, like, Key lime pie is like my favorite. I haven't had it since I was literally since my uncle and auntie made it, and that was when I was maybe 18 or 17 at the most. And the thing is, I figured out that's why cars came around here, <laughs> or whatever. I'm going norm. But the thing I figured out today is, like, I always mess up my diet by giving in the cravings, like. Pizza is my all-time horrible craving. Pizza Hut and they stupid little garlic, um, they garlic wings. I always give in, and, like, I always buy the medium. I'm going to be honest because it's the truth. I buy the medium size and the 14-piece um, chicken, the boneless um, garlic parmesan pizza. Oh, it's so good. But I keep giving in to it every month, knowing full well I'm not supposed to be eating fatty food like that. And key lime pie today, I saw on sale for two ninety nine. I'm gonna show y'all the box. This bad boy, two ninety nine. Original is five dollars. Key lime white chocolate. At that, they're cookies and they're freaking good. But the um thing is, usually I don't buy key lime pie or cookies because uh, some way I can rationalize. Not buying the cookies because it's fattening, but the pizza is a wrap. Um, and the chicken thingies. So my thing is, I just proved to myself today that I don't have to give in to cravings. You know, I could just be like, you know, how I did the key lime pie. I I literally crave it all the time. Every time I'm at the store, I'd be like, ooh, key lime pie. And then I buy everything and leave the store, leave the key lime pie and the key lime, whatever it is, in the store. You know, have such a growth, you know? So yeah, my my whole point of this video is saying that you don't have to give in to cravings, and and that's how we'll stay on our diet by not giving in to key lime pie. Or after this, I will never buy another key lime pie again. And look me in my face, it's the truth. I will not. I never buy key lime, but it was a nice little. It's like I went 18 years without key lime pie. I can go 18 years without pizza and them stupid little garlic chicken thingies. <laughs> and, you know, more years without Subway sandwiches with extra mayonnaise, bad. And other things I'm not supposed to have. So, I like to thank myself, first and foremost. My auntie and my uncle, rest in peace, I love both of y'all. <laughs> for making key lime pie homemade at that baby and for these key lime white chocolate cookies for teaching me that even though I freaking love a certain food I do not have to get it every time I have a craving for it like say tomorrow I wake up like oh I want some pizza hello I don't have to like turn around and buy that pizza you know what I mean I can have a craving and go through it so, all righty, everybody, I wanted to let y'all know that, and have a good day. Bye.